the Will He Digital Temperature Controller. This little beauty is quite impressive. It has a lot of features that we're going to need to go through. Um, and then after we go through all of the features, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give my personal opinion on what the best features are for what you're trying to do and personally for what I've been trying to do. So to get this started off, let's actually measure out the dimensions. I don't remember seeing any on the website, um, and by website I mean Amazon, and I haven't found any dimensions for it on any of the packaging or the instruction manual. So uh, to just get through this right here, this is going to be almost five inches, about an eighth off of, uh, or, or sixteenth off of five inches. Uh, and then, Height wise, it's going to be, uh, let's call it three and a half, three and a half inches. And then width, we are looking at um, about one and a half, one and a half inches, I'd say. As for the wire, this, this, this wire drives me crazy. It's a long wire, it's, it's awesome, but it's nine foot eight inches, just along the wire part. I didn't include uh, the sensor portion or the jack portion of the wire in just the length It's nine foot eight inches and it's just it bothers me to no end that they didn't just make it 10 10 foot So this will heat has many different versions. There's an a b c d and this one is the a and it is uh, specifically for United States market uh, you can tell because the default is Fahrenheit, but in the advanced settings that we'll eventually get to, we can change this to Celsius. Now, to make sure that this is working, let's just put our hand around it. Okay, good, good. It's definitely working, definitely got the heat. It takes about, uh, it took about, three seconds for it to start to cool off. So that's that's what you have to look forward to there. Now we get to the wonderful juicy settings. We're gonna press the setting button down for approximately three seconds. And we are going to take a look at our on and off functions. On is the temperature at which this uh, outlet begins supplying power and uh, and the device turns on and then the same thing with this only it's it's when it gets shut off so this is probably going to be at oh this is the defaults by the way the defaults for this is going to be a hundred uh two. so now that we have on and off figured out we're going to go up to ca which is short for calibration Calibration means that this is going to affect how sensitive it is, how far it looks into the future and anticipates where it's going to land. Also, if you think your device isn't reading the temperature properly, maybe it's a 0.1 degree off, well, there you go. It's, it is one is 0.1 degrees on. And it's the same thing with the uh, opposite side. We can go ahead and set it down to negative. So the parameters of this is going to be negative nine degrees to nine degrees forward. This is not giving you a huge amount of customization, but it should be enough for what you're working with. Now we're gonna to go to the PT function. I know it looks like P7, but it is PT. This function is the compressor time delay. It defines the time interval of two compressor cycles. What that means is that uh, in between the on and off, a certain amount of time has to pass. Uh, this can be anywhere from zero to 30 minutes. I am sure this is useful. I don't really use it all that often, but uh, for sure there are going to be areas where you want a minimum of two minutes in between the on and off cycle. So that way it isn't constantly going on, off, on, off. And now we come to the AH function. What AH means is the uh, high temperature alarm. Um, if it passes a certain temperature, then you want 
to know where it's going to be. This is uh, goes from anywhere from negative 50 to 230 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna go ahead and set my function to, let's say, 85. Let's just say 85, whatever, you know. Doesn't really matter all that uh, much. I'll probably change the settings later on this. And this is, of course, at the uh, negative end, negative 58. And this is the low alarm, AL, low alarm. Now, this is not A7, this is AT. AT means this is the auto shutoff timer. To shut off the device plugged in the controller, rather than the controller itself, this parameter only appears after you enable timer in advanced menu by setting DL on. That is uh, directly from the book, but the way that I uh, have used this, that it's going to give you a time requirement on how long it can be running. So where the compressor time delay regulates the amount of time between on and off cycles, uh, the auto shutoff timer regulates the time of the on cycle itself. Now the AT uh, function needs to be turned on in the advanced menu with the DL function, which is the timer switch. But we're going to be getting to that now as we move on to the advanced settings. So let's go ahead and press the power to get back to our uh, main menu. And what we're going to do now is press the set and up button at the same time. And now we have the advanced menu. It's gonna start us off with CF. Now, as you can probably tell, CF is going to mean Celsius or Fahrenheit. So we can set it to Fahrenheit, we can set it to Celsius. Uh, we were at, what, 60 degrees Fahrenheit? Now, uh, another thing I should mention is that every time you set your advanced settings, so think about it before you go into the advanced setting menu, once you press power, it's going to reset all of the defaults that you did with the initial settings. This is... Uh, it's understandable considering the kind of things it does, changing exactly what it reads, but at the same time, it's it's definitely kind of lame. So we're gonna press the power setting is going to beep loudly. And now it is at 19.1 degrees Celsius. Let's uh, get rid of that um, abomination, get back to Fahrenheit. So this is also not 57, this is ST. The way the manual says it is that this is the number increment for how many numbers you go up or down when uh, going into the initial settings. So I have it at five. It says that it's one to 10. I've only been able to get it either one or five, so it's either going to skip five degrees or uh, 0.5 degrees every time you push down and it's going to go really rapidly. That's why it was going rapidly earlier because I already had this set to five. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, at least with this model, the A, I'm not seeing an option for it to go to 10. It's just going to be one or five. So that's a that's a little bit of a disappointment. It's, it's a little uh, nitpick, but it's it's a little bit of a disappointment. Now the DL function is going to be what turns the auto timer, the AT, uh, gives you the ability to turn it on and off from the main menu. That's basically, that's basically all it does, really. Uh, and it gives you the ability to do that once you set the AT parameters, how long it's going to take, DL is what allows the auto timer to function just, just really at all. Now the U, on the other hand, uh, actually gives the timer its, its time, really. It defines when it should start counting down. This is also just gonna be an on or off um, 
the DL is an on or off as well. There's no, you know, there's no time settings. Uh, showing you the DL, uh, now everything, by the way, has been returned to its default. Uh, we go to our settings and we will see that the default temperatures are on right now. So we have a hundred degrees Fahrenheit for our on point and for our off point, we have 110 degrees. We are back at the main menu now. I do press our settings and go to the auto timer function, set it to one minute, set, go back to here. And now it's going to blink between the temperature the sensor is reading and telling you that it is currently off. So this is currently off. Our setting uh, we shall turn to, uh, it's currently 59.5. I just wanna showcase something for you right here. We're gonna put it over um, the on amount, set it. So it is still off. We're going this is giving you the ability to be able to power something instead of just holding down the power and turning the unit uh, completely off. So that is one nice thing to that. But let's go ahead and get back to the advanced settings to show you the timer portion of the function. Uh, something that's interesting is even when you're in advanced settings, it is still keeping the energy flowing because it's still operating on the parameters given to it. it the advanced settings haven't gone through yet, so it's not shutting the entire thing down. Uh, that's uh, a minor detail that I do like about this. We're going to set our U now to on and press the power button. Once again, this is going to return everything back to its default function. So that means we're also going to have to go in and uh, tell the device wh what the uh, AT parameters are. So let's go to settings. This thing is still uh, keeping on. Let's go to AT, set for one minute, set power. It is now in the on and off. Once the AT time is set, it will do this uh, blinking thing in the main menu. Okay, let's go ahead and power this bad boy on. Press the power button. And now instead of shifting to the off, it is telling us that it is being on for one minute. I think it's handy dandy. I also think this function isn't going to be necessary for at least for everything I'm going to do. Uh, I am, I hope you can tell by the channel's name, a, uh, a mushroom kind of guy. I also like to do a lot of experiments with agar, which by the way, that is going to be one of my next videos where I use this device on a uh, small incubator I made myself. That's going to be another video, but the two of them together, uh, this is, this is all going to play into it. So this, this setting is, uh, it's a little much for me. I don't really need it, uh, but th this device as a whole, I really like. Well, I'm sure there are more in-depth temperature controllers out there, but for this price, I personally think that this is going to be your best bet at a temperature controller. This channel's purpose is to primarily create a community of passionate cultivators and uh, psychedelic advocates, mostly centered around that of the quote unquote magic mushrooms, psilocybin. So I hope that you will become a member of the Shroomster community. I like using these sort of devices to help cultivate, not magic mushrooms, because that would actually be insanely idiotic of me to do, having shown my face multiple times in previous videos. Um, but I do, I actually really like uh, growing a lot of cuisine type mushrooms and hopefully one day, hopefully I would like to grow enough to be able to supply them to various restaurants 
nearby. So anyway, thank you, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this informational, and uh, I will post another video tomorrow.